Hey guys, how you doing? Hope you're having a good one today. Today, I want to talk about something that a lot of us Nintendo Switch owners have in common. No, not the fact that we've got good taste in video games, but the fact that we probably experienced Joy-Con drift in the past. I know I have, I'm pretty sure you might have done as well. When you like playing a game like Mario Kart or Cuphead and the Joy-Con decides to you know, automatically move down. It gets really annoying and unfortunately this happens with my Pro Controller as well. So the whole point of this video today is to find out if I can fix my Joy-Cons on the cheap because Nintendo, at least in the UK, they will charge to have your Joy-Cons fixed. In America it's a whole different story. They recently made it so that you can send your Joy-Cons in. They would fix it for free. But no, not in the UK. So what I did, I've actually purchased a kit off of eBay. It cost about eight pounds. Uh, you can get it a little bit cheaper, but my kit has both Joy-Con joysticks in here. I'm gonna try and replace my left one because that is the one I have issues with. So what we're gonna do in this video is open up the Joy-Con with this kit and then replace the Joy-Con and hopefully that's gonna fix it, at least for a while anyway. Let's see. Okay, this is our bag of goodies then. So what do you get inside here? So first things first, we've got the actual bits we want to replace, the joysticks. So like I said earlier, my right Joy-Con's fine. It doesn't need changing whatsoever, so I'm going to leave that aside. But the left one, that is what I'm going to be concentrating on today. So uh, yeah, like I said, you've got the Joy-Con or joystick parts in there. You've got a couple of screwdrivers both different sizes because there's like two different type of screws on the Joy-Con and you also get some parts to maybe prise open the case in as well so let's do this so let's get rid of that I'm hoping this just pops apart now so I do believe it should unclip. Just give it like a, a little tug at either end. That middle part should kind of come off as well. This is probably what the prizing parts are for, but we're good, we're good. And let's have a look inside. So if you've never seen the inside of a Joy-Con before, there's not actually that much going on. There's a battery in there, which I'm gonna to need to move out the way. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. They're really basic. That's the HD motor down here. Uh, you've got the trigger, uh, well, the right or well, left trigger, I should say. So next thing, we wanna remove the screws in here as well. Nicely done. Okay, so in here you can see that's the actual part we want to replace. And there's two more screws holding this down. Right, before we go any further, ideally we want to disconnect the battery here. So you just kind of got to hold down on the board and just pull that off. Like so. Let's put that safe aside. So it's looking good. Now we've got a few other cables we need to be real careful of here. So we've got this part here we need to remove uh, the cable from the top and I mean ideally the ones around it. If I can make do without not disconnecting this I think that would be good but this one here we're going to need to disconnect to get to the screw. Okay so we've got both of those disconnected. We can now get rid of the actual joystick part. So let's just take the other two screws off. Right, we should be able to pick out that part. You gotta be careful about this. There's a little bit of surround around it. So there's our part. That is the defective piece of Joy-Con. Let's put this new part on then. 
so we want to make sure we can get that back through the hole. Like so, I think that's about right. Let's try and reconnect the cables back up here as well, while we got the board off. So we're all back to normal here, it feels sturdy enough. I might have lost a screw during the putting back together of this, but uh, I don't know, can't find it anywhere. There's always one, isn't there? One screw that always goes missing. Anyway, let's give this a go on the switch itself. And there we go, that's working absolutely fine. I uh, can't see any problems with that at all. It's not drifting whatsoever. Well, it's working, that's something. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. It was definitely fiddly. Definitely not for the faint-hearted. I think the worst thing was, was once you got inside, trying to like unclip all the cables, stuff like that, it was a bit tricky. But if you want to try this for yourself, definitely go and check out a better, more instructive guide. Mine was definitely more of a, a quick overview of things, I feel. For the price of it, I'm well happy with how this turned out. It only took, what, 30, 40 minutes in total, I feel. Nothing too long, really. I just wanted to make sure it all turned out okay and we didn't have anything breaking. Because that's the worst thing. You try and fix something and you make more problems. Uh, so happy to say that didn't happen. Are you going to be trying this for yourself? Please do let me know if it was successful, if you did try it. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.